Hello and welcome to part 5 of Evaluate's video series on evaluation, the secret sauce in your ATE proposal, a video series for individuals applying to the National Science Foundation's Advanced Technological Education Program. This video series accompanies the August 2019 webinar. Check out our first four videos for more essential elements of an evaluation plan. My name is Lissa wilson Becho, and I work for Evaluate, located at Western Michigan University. Evaluate is the evaluation hub for the National Science Foundation's Advanced Technological Education Program, or ATE for short. Although Evaluate is funded by NSF to provide guidance on evaluation matters, we do not speak for NSF. This video series has been walking through the evaluation plan checklist for ATE proposals created by Evaluate to identify the components of a high quality evaluation plan. This video is going to take a look at the next few sections, communication and use, as well as creating an evaluation timeline. So it's important to touch on how evaluation findings will be communicated and used by project staff. Specifically, in your evaluation plan, you should identify what reports will be prepared and who will receive them. At the minimum, you should have one annual evaluation report in advance of your annual report due date to ensure that you can really use your evaluation findings. It's good to mention how frequently the evaluator will communicate with the project team to show there is a real feedback loop. For the, evaluation, for the evaluate team, we meet with our evaluator about once a month. And also make sure to know how evaluation results will be shared with external audience who could benefit from the information. These checkpoints are embedded in the NSF's review criteria. One, is the evaluation likely to provide useful information to the project and others? Two, will the project evaluation inform others through communication of results? Make sure to demonstrate that this is going to happen in your proposal. So just to recap on that section, formal reporting should occur at least annually. Project teams should engage with the evaluators regularly. We recommend about monthly. And the project needs to show a commitment to using the evaluation results for improvement. So finally, you need to convey a realistic timeline for your evaluation. So in your section, you need to identify when the key evaluation activities will take place and show that there's a concrete plan for getting timely information from the evaluation. A matrix is a great way to do this. So by key activities, I mean things like major data collection events, reporting, or like meetings between evaluators and the project team or other stakeholders. So you can include this evaluation timeline in the evaluation section of your proposal, or you can include it with the overall timeline of the project. So in this video series, we've talked about the five essential elements you need to include in your ATE evaluation plan, discussing your evaluator, your evaluation questions, identifying the data you'll be using, talking about the communication and use of evaluative findings, and including an evaluation timeline. To help you present the evaluation plan succinctly within a proposal, Evaluate has created a proposal evaluation plan template, which shows you how to organize the information efficiently. We suggest that you use this along with the evaluation plan checklist. In our final video, we'll be talking about the other areas of your ATE proposal you should consider integrating elements of your evaluation plan.